Hey guys, it's me. Okay, so I've been working on this little side project for a while that I want to share with you guys today. So I, initially, I wasn't going to make a video about this, but hey, why not? Maybe somebody will find it interesting. So just bear with me for a moment here. I've always been a big fan of 2D platformer side scrollers like Sonic, Super Mario, Metroid, Rayman, you name it. And for a while now, I've been thinking about how different each of these games feel. Like when you pick up the controller, each game feels very distinct and different from the other ones. And so it just made me curious, like, why is that? How can they make it so different from one another? So since apparently one of my main hobbies is to research the shit out of stuff that literally nobody cares about, except me, and then since nobody asks, I then proceed to tell my very patient wife all about it. So this time I'm gonna try and not torture her and tell you guys instead. So anyways, I started really obsessing over this and decided that I wanted to recreate these movement mechanics in Unity to really understand what's going on. Because, well, I don't know why, I was just interested, okay? <laughs> okay, but so what exactly am I talking about here? Well, let me give you a quick rundown. Starting with Super Mario Brothers, for example. When Mario reaches the peak of his jump, gravity is more than doubled and he starts falling much faster towards the ground than when he was traveling upwards. Compare this to a real object such as a tennis ball, which has an identical curve on both sides. What we see in Mario is of course completely unrealistic, but this idea is what gives Mario his distinct characteristics and also helps fight the dreaded floatiness game developers talk a lot about. All right, so then I was like, okay, I have to recreate this in Unity. This is so cool. All right, cool is maybe debatable, but I think it's cool, okay? <laughs> so I found this video in the GDC archive which talks about jump physics math Hi, stuff. So I decided to watch it. So to solve for gravity, we'll go to the graph of position that we just drew. We start at a height of zero at time zero. At time T sub H, we have some desired height H. And then... I eventually made it through and I actually learned quite a few things. Ha ha ha! Ah, check this out! Oh my god! It was worth watching the whole video just for this. Okay, you gotta see this. Okay, so right at the end of the video, he's like finishing up and answering questions or whatever. <laughs> and this dude shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Check this guy out. Look, keep your eyes on this guy here. But I would point to Super Meat Boy as a really good example of having a unique characteristic sort of floatiness. But you know, floatiness necessarily it just, doesn't like, always feel good. It but just, they like, managed turns to make it feel good in that way. I think it was a combination of uh, <laughs> you know the way the character moves, but also interacts with walls Look, and has. He's like pressing buttons on his computer. He's like turning off his presentation or something. You know, wall jumping and all those sorts of abilities. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and if you think it stops there, oh no, it keeps going. There's another question. I guess we have time for one more. Thank Kyle. <laughs> oh, that's so cringe. Okay, I understand that they have a schedule and they need to like keep the ball rolling, but at the same time, I feel like that was maybe a little bit <laughs> a little bit too rude. I love how he just like closes the laptop, picks it up, and then gives it to him like here, take the laptop and f off. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Mwah. Hey, it was a good presentation though. I learned a lot. I now know how to do this, I think. Uh, let's find out. Armed with my new knowledge of game jump physics math, I got to work. Initially, I was just gonna try and recreate Mario's jump and call it a day. But as usual, I went down a deep rabbit hole and started complicating things. Okay, so I've been working on this thing in the evenings for a while now. Check this out. So I've created this thing here where you have your character and you can jump around, but if you pause... Okay, okay, I know. I know it's a lot to take in, but just hear me out here. It's not that bad. You have these sliders where you can adjust the jump characteristics, and the idea here is that you should be able to recreate pretty much any game character you like using only these sliders, which I think is pretty cool. Also, check it out. When you adjust the sliders, you get this prediction stroke here, so you can see exactly how the settings are affecting the jump. Now, this prediction thing might seem like just something easy to do, 
it was not. It took me like several days to figure this out. It was not easy, okay? But I think it was worth it because it's really cool. And I learned a lot. So my idea here, I guess, is to make this into like some sort of game or something and release to you guys so you can play. I don't know how useful or fun this is, but hey, if you're interested in this stuff, then uh, maybe it'll be fun to try it out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty cool to just be able to play around with this and just see what happens and, you know, just get a feel for it. Anyways, I'm gonna keep working on it and uh, hopefully something cool comes out in the end. That's usually how these things go, right? I honestly don't know how I could justify spending so much time on something completely useless like this. But okay, now that I have this, let's recreate Mario. While Mario is in no sense realistic, I like to always start these types of things off by recreating what real world physics would look like, just to keep as a reference. Okay. Okay, so what you see here is what reality would look like. Now I know what you're thinking, no way <laughs> is that real. That is way too slow and sluggish, right? So let me prove you wrong. Okay, first we need to get the scale right. Each of these squares is here are four by four meters and I'm about 1.8, so lining these up, we should be close enough. Now, as you can see, the ball and the character behave in the exact same way. So reality is actually quite floaty. Super Mario has about eight times the gravity we feel here on Earth. Okay, so that's cool. So now that we have that tuned in, I'm gonna save a little button here, which uh, stores all the values that we put in so that we can always revert to it. And then I'll keep adding buttons for each game that we recreate. I spent quite a bit of time dialing in the settings for Mario with the help of just counting frames on recorded footage and there was actually a bit of information in Steve Swink's book Game Feel on how Mario's physics work as well, which I thought was pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description to the book if you want to get it as well. Since Mario was made on the NES and they had certain hardware limitations, they did a little bit of cheating, I noticed. But in essence, I think what I have right now is pretty darn close. Check this out. So, so I put them side by side and you can see here. I'm gonna call this close enough. And then we also have the uh, lower jump, which also lines up pretty much to the frame. This is really cool. When you press and hold down the jump button, we use the gravity we set on this slider. The moment our character starts traveling downward or you release the jump button, we immediately switch over from the gravity we set here to the one we set on this other slider, which in this case is much stronger. So if you press the jump button and release it immediately, we switch over to the stronger gravity right away, which gives you the feeling that the jump is canceled. And so this way I was able to pretty much exactly replicate Mari using only these sliders. So now my theory is that I should now be able to, with these sliders, recreate any game of my choosing because the idea is that all games are made like this. It turns out that I was wrong. <laughs> uh, so I tried to do the same thing with Celeste and try to recreate m the feeling of Madeline. Madeline. Madeline? Madeline? But it turns out that what they did with her, it's not what I did at all. Well, it's similar though. Essentially, looking at a game like Hollow Knight, which follows a similar feature, what they've done there is basically as soon as you release the button, it just immediately stops the knight and he starts immediately falling. What I would need to add in is basically a upwards velocity cancellation. So basically when you press the jump button, your character is traveling upwards and instead of just like increasing the gravity when we release the button, we actually stop the character so that it starts falling back towards the ground. Which, I mean, I guess I could add a slider for that, but the thing is, I guess, is that I, it's already like so filled with sliders and it's already complicated as it is. And then it's gonna take a bunch of more time. And, and to be honest, I'm not really even sure why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's just, just one of those rabbit holes, you know? So tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna package this up, upload it to itch.io and I'm gonna let you guys play around with it and you tell me if it's fun and if it's useful at all. Also, I'd like to point out that it wasn't a complete waste of time because remember the game jam I did for Brackies? I, I made that game mind loop. Well, I actually used this whole system to create the character there. So it was really easy to just kind of tweak how high the jump should be. Uh, anyways, th this is just a passion project. It's just something I'm really, I find interesting, which probably nobody else does, which is why I wasn't gonna make this video. But hey, maybe some of you will find it interesting. So I'm gonna keep tinkering with this. Whenever I do an update, I'll just tweet it out. So if you care, uh, make sure to follow on Twitter. Give it a go, play around with it, see what you think, let me know. <laughs> Regardless, it was so awesome to see you. Always a pleasure. Anyone watching at this point is probably already Already subscribed to this channel so I'm not even gonna mention that but let's not forget about their Google algorithm juice you still gotta like the video right and leave a couple of comments and share it with your friends who might be interested in weird jump videos harness the power of the juice okay I'll stop now thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye